Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's see if we can utilize the information we learned, the knowledge we gained on what we call the expected value on something like lottery tickets. So let's say that there's a neighborhood raffle, they're trying to raise some money, they're selling 5,000 tickets, and they're sold for $2,000 each. And there's a grand prize, first prize of $2,000, a second prize of $1,000, there's two third prizes for $500, and five fourth prizes at $100. So, what is the expected value of the ticket? All right, the way to do that is as follows. X will represent the value of each ticket depending upon whether or not you win a prize or which prize you win. So, for example, the, certain, the values for X can be as follows. X can be equal to, well, it'll be the money you get back if you win something, which would be zero dollars if the ticket doesn't win anything, minus the price you paid for the ticket. So in this case, that would be minus two for the vast majority of tickets because there would not be any prices attached to it. But it could also be that you win a hundred dollar price, and since you have to pay two dollars for the ticket, then you get ninety-eight dollars back, or you gain ninety-eight dollars, so to speak. And there would be, of course, the possibility of winning a $500 prize, minus $2 for the ticket, that would be $498, so that would then be worth $498. And then you have the possibility of getting $1,000, minus $2 for the ticket, which is $998, or you have the possibility of getting a prize of $2,000, minus the price of the ticket, which is $1,998. So these are all the possible values for X. All right, that would be your random, your random variable. X is your random variable. And I'll just go ahead and put X's everywhere so nobody gets confused. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five possible values uh, for X. X representing the value of the ticket. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is see how many of those tickets are there. So let's start from the bottom up. There's one price like this. So you have, so that would be the probability of X here, and so there'll be one for this one, it would be one for this one, it would be, oh, wait a minute, it's not one, that's the number of occurrences. Really what we have to do is we have to take the one ticket divided by the 5,000 total tickets that are sold. So for the, for the second prize, it's one divided by 5,000, that would be the probability. For the third prize, it would be two divided by 5,000. For the uh, fourth prize, there's five of them, out of 5,000, and finally, how many tickets are left? Well, that's five, seven, eight, nine tickets were gone. That means you have 4,991 tickets out of 5,000 that will not win anything at all, and so the probability of getting one of those is 4,991 out of 5,000. Okay, so now we use the same equation that we used before for the expected value. So the expected value is going to be equal to the number, the value for x, so let's start with negative 2, and multiply times the probability of 4,991, plus the value of that type of ticket, which is 98, and the probability that would be 5 divided by, oop, I forgot divided by 5,000, there we go, can do that. So here would be, yes, 5 divided by 5,000, plus the value of that kind of ticket, which is 498, multiply times 2 divided by 5,000, plus the value of this kind of ticket, which is 998, multiply times 1 over 5,000, and then finally, the value of the w most winning ticket of 1,998, and the probability is 1 over 5,000. That will give us the expected value of the ticket. And so actually what that is good for is it tells you whether or not that's a good deal or not such a good deal. And so let's go ahead and calculate it and see what we get. And of course, we're going to need a calculator for that. So we have negative 2 times 4991 divided by 5,000. And we're going to add to that plus the quantity 98, oop, 98 times 5 divided by 5,000. We're going to add to that plus, we're going to add to that um, the quantity 498 times 2 divided by 5,000. We're going to add to that plus 998 divided by 5,000. 
And finally, we're going to add to that 1998 divided by 5,000. And what we get is that the expected value of each ticket is minus 1.1, and of course that's in dollars. So minus 1.1 dollar, and dollar sign of course goes in the front, so uh, minus 1.1 dollar, right there. Okay, that's the expected value of the ticket. What that means is when you buy a lottery ticket, you can expect to lose 1.1 dollar. You pay two dollars for it, but there's a small probability you'll gain one and get one of the prices, so that on average, the ticket is worth negative $1.1. Are those good odds? Well, I would like to have it a lot less than that. If I buy a ticket, I would like to see it like maybe minus 0 0.05, like a nickel or a dime or something like that, that the likelihood of breaking even is close to, uh, to zero. And, uh, and so in the, when we go to Las Vegas, for example, we start gambling on the slot machines and all that. They want to make sure that people come back. If the expected value of a transaction is this, that would be pretty bad and people would be losing money very, very quickly and they wouldn't stay very long and say, oh, we're losing money here, let's go. But if that number is very close to zero, that means that you almost, on, the, on, on average, when you spend a lot of money gambling, you get almost all of it back. And that's what keeps people going at it, thinking, oh, we can keep winning money because they break even, they come close to breaking even. So I would say on a $2 ticket, minus 1.1, well, if it's for a charity, if it's for your local baseball team or something like that, why not? Buy the raffle and see if you get lucky. And you don't expect to get lucky, and you expect that most of the money will go to the charity. But if you're in there for trying to make money from a lottery, you want to see much better odds than that. If, that's, if, that's not the, uh, if that number is not closer to zero, then I would say don't bother buying the ticket because whoever's running the lottery is getting a lot of money from it and it's not going to be in your pocket. So that's how we do that. That's what we call the expected value of a lottery ticket or a raffle ticket.